Welcome to the August 21st, 2023 Advance Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman, a weekly fast-paced tour of the global financial markets with charts created by McGowan Group Wealth Management. I'm president of McGowan Group, a team of 10 serving affluent families right here from the Crescent in Dallas. You can contact us at NetworthRadio.com or TheMcGowanGroup.com. Set your time for a brainstorming session to update your plan. We're going to go through some of the big events this week, and I want to start with treasuries. You'll see why, because it has to do with one of the biggest headlines this week. It's good news for the economy and bad news for treasuries. And I want to cover a false premise that you've heard in the media for the past 18 months. Here we go. This is March 31st. This is the price of a 20-year treasury. So it's a scorching hot summer. And why would the price of a 20-year treasury melt or at least wilt in the heat? Here's what happened. The yield curve was inverted. The Fed raised the rates. Long treasuries institutions buy because they think there's going to be a recession, they'll be better protected and they'll have a gain on those long treasuries if the rates fall. So the inversion of the yield curve corresponded to the belief that there was going to be a recession no matter what. And here in March, when you had the four bank failures, Silicon Valley, uh, uh, California banks focused in venture capital, which completely dried up. Well, that was a regional banking crisis, somewhat like the Texas banking crisis back in 1990. Treasuries. When the banks failed, everybody bought treasuries. Oh, there's definitely going to be a recession. And you'll see some of those forecasts in here. So all the money flew into treasuries. There's the high price for the year. What happened? Wow, I can explain this drop in treasuries. Now, that means that from here to here, the interest rate on a 20-year treasury went up over a half a percent because the price is lower. Wow, what happened? Here it is. Atlanta Fed, real GDP now. What's the current economic growth rate? They've been the most accurate. You can see the blue chip economists were projecting near or at recession at the beginning of the quarter. And we keep hearing looming recession. And this is the fifth quarter in a row that it's happened. Atlanta Fed raised their current GDP growth estimate to 5.8%. It is a scorching hot summer and for the economy as well. And that wilted the price of a treasury because the recession premise has been wrong and institutions are finally accepting that. What happened to the Dow? Well, here's Dow Jones hits a high, 35,679, hit it at the end of July, and we've wilted down to 35, 34,500, in part because the yield on the treasuries went up and institutions allocate between the two choices of equity and bonds. Well. This genuflect relates directly, of course, to the fact that the interest rates are higher on that treasury bond. Now, I'm going to talk about compounding. We're going to take a bad example first. This is AT&T, now $14. It's below the price in the 90s. I mean, it's sad. Uh, and we covered three years ago in this report, that's why you want to subscribe, we covered the fact that AT&T lost $70 billion on two major acquisitions, Time Warner CNN and DirecTV. By the time it was done, they were just lucky to get out, took a $70 billion loss. They, somebody needs to stop them. Anyway, even with a long-term price decline because of the dividend, it would be four and a half percent over this time period. And you can see the price is just a miserable ride, but with dip reinvested dividends, it's about four and a half percent. That's not a good one. I want to show you some good ones. Now, just because we mentioned something 
uh, here doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio till you get a written plan from McGowan Group Wealth Management. And we love brainstorming sessions, so go to the mcgowangroup.com or networthradio.com and you can contact us there. Here, this is AbbVie. Now, I love medical technology, especially medical technology dividend companies. AbbVie, 20 year track record, just like we did for AT&T. 564% annualized at 19%. That's a heck of a track record. Now to get that return, you did have to reinvest dividends. Let's look at another example. This is the bond fund that we've mentioned before. It's a global high yield bond fund with one of the best 30 year track records in fixed income. With reinvestment, you can see here that with reinvestment, you've actually got a, a, a rather extraordinary return of nine and a half percent, even with the downdrafts of the pandemic and the Fed tightening cycle. We estimate that global high yield bond funds are trading at the equivalent of about 75 percent of par, which means you could theoretically make it through a recession. And if it goes back to par, you've got a nice gain. So here, this is Chevron. Now, oil prices topped $80 and it broke out from an, from an April trading range. Well, Chevron, if you look at the compounded returns for 20 years, 11.7% with dividend reinvestment and 9.7% just from the price. And we may still be in the good cycle for energy infrastructure. Now I'm going to cover something that falls in the to not to category and how to avoid some of the big mistakes investors make. What is this? This is Proterra. Now remember, we were going to go net zero, no more oil and gas, and we're going to do all electric. So this is the electric school bus company. Here, this was valued, this is Proterra. It was valued at $6.7 billion for the company right here. And they borrowed another $1.6 billion. They filed for bankruptcy last week. And you can see the price is a nickel. And that's probably overpriced. This company never made money. If you looked at them, let's say you're looking at the IPO and it gets to $31. Well, you say, wow, that's the, that's the way of the future. Electric school buses everywhere. And they're quieter and they don't smell bad. Okay, that sounds great. However, they lost money every quarter and they had lost money before they did the IPO. So beware the IPO. And one way to eliminate a big part of your mistakes is don't buy companies that are losing money. It's very easy to double check. So that's your lesson of the week. I look forward to constructing a plan for you and your family. Find us at networthradio.com. Be sure to subscribe. And that allows you each week to get an update where you can come in, find out what happened in the markets and what McGowan Group Wealth Management is doing about it. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets, Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent, and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions. 
the research that comes up. Now, the net worth media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. At networthradio.com, you can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous, chasing things, or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.